what do you want me to do? You just want me to hit you. Come on. Give me just one thing. Fire fire. You're gonna eat lightning. You're gonna crack thunder. We'll have to put you in a cage. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Tyron Woodley. All right, so here he is, the chosen one, the Ferguson, Missouri native, UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley. I know he's happy to have the Stephen Wonderboy Thompson chapter now closed and a win over Damian Maya, part of this title reign as well. Let's see how Woodley presses forward now as the challenges continue to be stiff. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world and holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. certainly planning to take his opponent down and unleash some of that vicious ground and pound he is known for. That's what got him to the big show. That's what got him to the UFC. And he's not just good at the ground and pound from a skill standpoint, but maintaining that top position that sets him up to unleash the nasty punches. He'll mix in the elbows as well. An outstanding ground and pound fighter who is looking to employ just that here tonight. This guy is a ground and pound specialist. If he gets his fighter to the ground and gets on top of him, the results can be devastating. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkaway division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record on. 19 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley! And now we see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 1 loss. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting! And a Boca Raton Colada, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Here is a guy who has been criminally underappreciated, not anymore, as he realized the UFC welterweight championship with a knockout of Robbie Lawler. Tyron Woodley back at it here tonight. Outstanding combination of wrestling, grappling, and striking. Tyron Woodley, a 
very difficult guy with which to contend here at 170 pounds. Into side control. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early, they will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Nice punch there by Usman. In full guard. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. He's got the chop. He might get a finish here. He's free. That guillotine was close. In half guard now. Tries to pass, but cannot. And he winds up on top. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Clinch now. Well, it looks like Woodley's got double underhooks now. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, that's how you change levels, Joe. Beautiful trip to get the takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Back to side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Side control again. He moves to the mounted crucifix now. This is nasty. Vicious oh, left hand. A big left hand. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He grabbed the north-south choke here. That choke is locked up. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the choke. And that will do it! Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Thailand, the chosen one, Woodley. Well, what a championship reign it has been at welterweight for Tyron Woodley. He hears and still yet again tonight. The Ferguson, Missouri native continues to take on all challengers, and at least to this point, he has yet to be dethroned. Outstanding performance out of T-Wood here to...